Hello, and thank you for being here today. We are going to do weights for awesome arms. We're going to do them in round. So a bicep, a tricep, a shoulder, a bicep, a tricep, a shoulder. Um, and again, we'll repeat. So I have a couple sets of weights here based on what we're doing. So I have them handy. Again, if you choose to do it without any weight, that is fine too. So you're standing or you're sitting, comfortable distance apart, abs are in, think about lifting your ribs away from the hips, but the ribs are down in front. Uh, elbows slightly in front, shoulder blades back and down, thumbs toward the ceiling to start, up, and then hit your nose, slowly down. So again, no swinging. If you find yourself swinging, go ahead and stand up against that wall, lean in. It gets rid of that momentum so that your biceps do more actual work. So we're going for 12 to 15 here. Trying to count and do it. We know that doesn't work for me. Um, again, if you're feeling like that's easy, then it's time to up the weight. So again, going down, elbows straight without locking out. Do two more. We're going to be somewhere in that range. All right, then elbows go behind you. Straighten, and then just let them go. Straighten. So it's a small range of motion. So you're not trying to bring them all the way in. And if you want more work, and that's okay on your low back, you can sit yourself forward a little bit. Straighten, and let go. Straighten, and let go. I'm at 10. So again, watch the body sway. I know it's kind of cool to have that sometimes, but really focus on getting those muscle forward. All right, and then release, going into lateral raise. So the thumbs are going to turn out. What weight works for you? Slowly up, just to shoulder height, maybe even a little bit lower, and then slow, slow, slow back down. So for this one, try to keep your arms straight out to your side. So only the thumb is lining up over here. Again, what stands worked for you, you can be seated and feel the neck stay out of it. So it's staying relaxed. That means your shoulders are doing the work. So right through here, shoulder blade on your back, you should feel it rotating, especially at toward the top. Elbows are straight without being locked. They can have a slight bend in them as long as they keep that bend the whole time. All right, so if you go back and think about that first bicep that we did, how was the weight? Mm -hmm. Do you need a little bit more? Do you need a little bit less? What's going on? Let's do one more. I'm going to grab slightly heavier dumbbells, which I didn't get out. Ugh. All right, going from five to eight, that's awfully big. But now your palms are forward. So arms are going to be down by your side this time. So fully underneath. Bicep curl, elbows forward as far as you're comfortable. Bring the elbows back and release. Bicep curl, elbows forward. So they don't have to come forward a lot, maybe halfway. Again, what's comfortable? That's just getting that extra bicep action in there. So like when we hold it forward, the elbows forward of the waist, that's getting that extra head in there. That also crosses that shoulder joint. So it is getting a little bit of shoulders as well, front shoulder to be specific. Again, minimize your body sway. How's your resistance? Keep control of your weights. We got three more. This is number three. Again, if you're in a staggered stance, switch. This is two. This is one. Uh, uh, all right, and down. All right, wait, you can do a dumbbell overhead. I am going to choose to do a tricep dip. So sitting, hand by your side, shoulder blades back. So you've got a set of shoulder girdle, right? So feet are comfortable distance apart. Lift your hips up. And then slowly bend the elbows far down as you're comfortable and release. That traditional dip is not working for you. You can do it relaxing on the ground. 
and just bend the elbows. That's the triceps are about. They're about straightening the elbows against resistance. That means you need to bend them to make them work. Bend, and then you use that tricep. So again, what level works for you? More of a challenge, you can cross one leg over. So I'm going to demonstrate my knees don't like that position. Try to keep your hips close to whatever you're sitting on, whatever you're using for the dips. Again, if you happen to be in the kitchen and you're on the counter, that's fine. Use that. You may not go down as far. You're still bending the elbows, right? All right. All right. We got three more. Try to keep those elbows pointing straight back and release. All right, going back to the lighter dumbbells, back into those shoulders. Again, you can do it sitting, you can do it standing. You choose. Arms are by your ears and then bring them forward just a little bit from here. One arm presses up toward the ceiling and then the other. So we're doing alternating. So I want you to feel what your abs are doing. It feels like I'm going to exaggerate my shoulders. It feels like you're tipping. And whatever arm you're putting up, that rib is going out to the side, right? So I want you to control that. Use the abs. Keep your low back long. You're lifting the ribs away from the hips. You're still getting that little bit of motion side to side, but now it's controlled. Press up. Again, neck is relaxed. If you're finding it's coming and the ears to shoulders, then take your arms out a little bit wider, or you can take your arms more to the front. What works for you? All right, one more. I don't know what count we're on here, and then release. Last round. So go ahead and grab just one dumbbell. You are going to need to be seated for this one. We're going to pop that elbow in on your inner thigh. I'm slowly going to straighten that arm out and then curl it up. Straighten the arm out, curl it up. Straighten and curl. Straighten. Again, take your time. Again, torso stands still, right? No body sway. So that means that bicep is really getting the work it needs to get stronger. We're not compensating in any way, shape, or form. We got a couple more. Am I counting? No. Nope. All right, and then switch other side. Again, get yourself set, support, stabilize, core is engaged, hips are level, up and down. So again, low on the way down. I really want you to focus on feeling that control. And again, if you really want to challenge it, you go slow. It's a mental challenge as well as physical, or you're just slower than what you went up. up. Again, minimize body sway. Two more. Last one. And since you're already sitting, you're close to the ground, go ahead and come onto the ground. The only one down here today doing skull crushers. So you can do one dumbbell or you can do two, your choice. Elbows stay slightly toward the ceiling, slightly overhead. Bring the weight down slowly, bring it back up. Bring it down, bring it back up. So if you did overhead, this is similar, but different. Think about the stability now you have through the shoulders. The neck is staying relaxed. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale on the hard part. If it's all hard, just exhale on one part, inhale on the other. Last one, and then go ahead and release. We got our last shoulder, so we're going to go to the front. Again, watch your body sway. So standing and sitting, your choice. Arms come up and then slowly down. So as they come up, have them a little bit wider than your shoulders, and then slowly down. Bring them up. Slowly down. Up. And slow. Think about shoulder blades are staying back. 
If anything, as that arm comes up, you're kind of feeling it snug down on that rib cage. So snug down. The neck stays relaxed as always. We got two more. Last one. Oh, and you are done for today. Give yourself a high five. Beep. I will see you next time. Bye.